Hey there, Mr. Archon. Good morning, Adachi. Fancy seeing you here this early. What's up? Before you asked, I don't have any money on me so you can buy yourself some liquor. Darn, there goes my morning. It's fine. I'm sure a certain woman with the butt floss has some. Anywho, have you seen my buddy Hazama anywhere? Need to show him something. Oh, neat. Thanks a million. Hazama is in the living room behind you. He's watching Ragna play that Goddess of Victory game. Goddess of Victory? The hell is that? Some lewd waifu gacha game. Anyway, see you later. A lewd gacha game? My buddy is slowly becoming a degenerate, I see. Sad to say that I'm disappointed in him. Wish me luck on this. I have been looking at guides and doing mock battles for almost an hour. I'm starting to get a better understanding of this boss now. Mind explaining what you need to do? That thing looks kind of overwhelming if you ask me. First thing, there's an immediate DPS check. You have to destroy the core, which is the head. If you don't in time, she will wipe your team. Why, good morning, Coffee-sama. How are you feeling? Alrighty. Good, good. I need to hang up now so the audience can enjoy the show. Bye-bye now. You all hear that? The living room sprite is getting a makeover. I know you all are getting tired of seeing that low-res background, along with that small-ass television. Anywho, what the hell are you two playing? Watching Ragna beat this boss over here. To think someone as innocent as Modernia can be this much of an annoying boss. Reminds me of a certain someone you know, Ragna. Do not remind me. Yeah, I'm going to head out. I'll text you in a bit, Hazama. Looking at this game is making me cringe. What's his problem? Got something mentally going on in that head of his? Long story short, he's kind of an incel. You didn't hear it from me. Figures. It's whatever. Anyway, back to the game. The hell was that just now? Hello? What's up? Hey, what are you up to, Ragna? Wait, you're still playing that goddess game? Wasn't aware of you two being friends. Interesting. I'm going to ignore that. Anyway, yeah, I'm just finishing with beating a boss on Special Interception. Why don't you try out Fate Grand Order? You did promise to give it a try. Fine. Which server should I play? I remember hearing that JP server is far better. Read it on some forum, along with a lot of comments of it being two years this and two years that compared to global. No worries. I'm going to hook you up. Check your Discord. The next morning. Morning, Ragna. What are you playing today? Fate Grand Order. Well, I am playing on the JP server since it has more servants and more availability, you can say. So, this is Fate Grand Order. Take a look at the gameplay and judge for yourself. As for me, I started playing this gotcha ever since Astolfo handed me the link to play this game. In all honesty, the game is pretty interesting in my deepest opinion. Story is great. Character design isn't bland. The soundtrack is amazing. This will keep you entertained if you got nothing to do. Pardon me, why are you doing a lot of buffering? What type of game is this? I'm stacking buffs so I can eliminate my enemies more quickly. Now observe. Is that a reference to that Jacko pose? The same pose which simps wouldn't shut up about? You know, I am just now noticing that. Anyway, see the results on how I easily killed those enemies? This is what farming looks like in Fate Grand Order. What you think? Not too sure what to think. In fact, if I have to do this hours upon hours in terms of farming, I wouldn't be interested in touching the game. Say, is there an auto-farming button on this game? An auto-farming button? Well, no. The hell? Please tell me you can, at the very least, skip the long animations in this game? You mean the noble phantasm? Yeah. No, you can't skip them. You can only slow it down or slightly speed it up. Pardon me once again and excuse my very language. Why the fuck would I want to slow the animation down in a game like this? That makes zero sense. Okay, blame the small indie company behind this. Looks like I need to explain everything to Hazama-senpai. Oh, hello there, Miss Kujikawa. By the way, what happened to your sprite? You look different and more happy. Trying out new things, I'll tell you later. Anyway, about Fate Grand Order. You... Step aside. I will make this quick. So save your breath, Kujikawa. This is giving me a huge headache now. I'll put my bias to the side, if it means I have to educate a newcomer to gacha gaming. Fate Grand Order has been in a weird spot since 2019. Delight Work stepped down and a company by the name Lassengle took over. While I do give them praise for fixing some bugs and issues with the game, however, there's large issues they need to tend with. Oh please, you're acting like Fate Grand Order has been ignoring feedback and... Where did you come from? It's a secret. Anywho, they acknowledge the many given issues with Fate Grand Order and are currently fixing it. Please enlighten me. It took them months to actually release Lost Belt 7. I would consider their pacing in terms of story release to be far worse than Genshin in that department. I am not downplaying the game itself. 
I have a problem with many of their business decisions. If they care about feedback so much, they would have a better beginner experience. How interesting. Interesting indeed. I'm going to let Senpai Claire cook. Unlike her, I actually hate the game. Let's talk about the many complaints of the game. Account security. You are forced to use a code instead of account linking. If you somehow manage to lose your code, you are forced to reset from scratch. Say goodbye to your level 120 caster Artoria and maxed Fu Saber Musashi. And before you ask, this game is turning 8 years old. There's recent gotchas that has account security. Heck, even older gotchas have this feature. Fate Grand Order lacks this very feature. And she is correct about all of this. This has been a requested feature since 2018 and they have yet to change this. How is this game still up again? Usually a game like this would have been shut down by now. Simple. Waifu sells in this game. Same can be said about Husbandos. If they release a summer version of Karna or Gilgamesh, they will make millions. The game is still open because there's a lot of dedicated defenders and whales for this game. In all honesty, the game isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Thank you for pointing that out. Ragna and everyone else, please take a look at the television screen. Please answer me this. Who actually asked for this feature? There are servants in this game that need an animation update. A lot of older servants who have been in the game since day one. Someone at the company woke up one morning and said, Hey, let's improve the animations of the enemies that are literal punching bags to the player base. Jesus Christ! Older servants like Lancer Alter Artoria, Alter Gene D'Arc, Shakespeare, Matahari, Leonidas, and even Mozart are using day one animations. They need to be updated, like badly. This game is all over the place. This doesn't seem like a bad game, just look overwhelming in my eyes. That video will be in the description, if anyone interested. Their business decisions is all over the place, as I have previously mentioned. They have even confirmed they are no longer adding servants to their arcade variant of Fate Grand Order. That is another subject for another day. This matter is about the mobile game. Astolfo, where the hell did you go? I pray their 8th anniversary will actually fix many problems which the game is suffering from. Christ's sake, they added force support to their lottery challenge modes since they have no idea on how to balance their characters. Honestly, they could have just added restrictions. As in, leave it to where they had it in the first place. Their logic is backwards. There's the saying, don't fix what is broken. I have learned a lot today from this interaction here. While I am new to Fate Grand Order, I do wish to continue playing the game. More like curiosity to say. I see. Well then, Ragna. If you do need assistance, I highly recommend following Chaldea Gurus and G&A &A Reviews if you need tips and information about the upcoming servants, upcoming story and events. As for free-to-play options, Honako Green and a Japanese user who goes by FGO7950. Their channels will be in the description. Think of this as a shout-out, I guess you can say. Very informant. I honestly thought you hated Fate Grand Order. Not exactly. It's not my cup of tea. There's better games on the market. Although the game has issues, I wouldn't dare call it a bad game. The game suffers from bad management from a company who doesn't understand their fan base. I am willing to bet their anniversary this year will once again beat Genshin Anniversary. Coffee-sama and Noor are already placing their bets on it. Anywho, I shall take my exit. My apologies. I have some things to take care of. I hope you do understand. If you need help, message me. Thank you, Lightning. By the way, I highly, and I mean, I highly recommend not spending a dime on this game. The pity is by far the worst among any gacha to date. It takes 330 rolls, which is a grand total of 900 St. Quartz, to reach a guarantee hard pity to get their SSR servant. Before you ask, the pity doesn't carry over. You are forced to either save up or spend hundreds. What? Okay, why the fuck would they add a feature like that and you telling me that people defend this shit? A lot of the fans are used to this harsh treatment. Most of the newer players usually quit by that point of time. If you really want to get angry, search up Unregistered Spirit Origin. Let's just say, that's another way to get an SSR. With a catch, that is. With that being said, I will see you all soon. Not too sure if I want to continue playing this game now, with all the given information. Well, if you really wish to play that game, I guess I will help you. I will guide you. Are you sure? You don't really need to if you actually hate. I can put my hate to the side, as long as you're not playing Blue Archive. Alrighty then, let's continue where I left off. Wait, since when did they make Beast Class playable? Last event. Mother Harlot is actually pretty good. Just know, she's a single target arts unit. Also, 
They gave Ibuki Duji a summer counterpart? She looks so broken. And that Jacko pose. How long have I been gone from this game? When was the last time you played this game? When they announced Lost Belt 6 for JP server. Two years! Holy! I gotta show you what you have been missing. You can share this account with me. Why, thank you so much, Senpai. You are so generous. At the very least, no one got hurt in this episode. Say, I wonder what Jin Kizaragi is up to. Haven't seen him in a while ever since he got slapped by Miss Gacha Gamer. Meanwhile... For the last time! I am not climbing that tree to pick flowers so you can ascend Ganyu. I am not your damn slave. By the way, where the fuck am I? Dude, get me the fuck out of this place! Hold on! You said Tower of Fantasy copied Genshin Impact in a recent image? I gotta ask, but what the fuck is a Genshin Impact? 